So today's video is gonna be a lot of fun. We actually came in on the weekend and cleaned out the server room and one of the things that I noticed was that these shelves, which are supposed to be the shelves that hold the pending projects for our writing staff. Wow, indelible marker. These shelves, which we are- We all wish that would come off easier too. Which are supposed Yay. to hold the projects for our writing staff, basically haven't even been looked at in months. And so I was watching other YouTube videos. I wasn't really watching them. I was more scrolling through titles and thumbnails. And I saw someone's video, something about extreme declutter. And you know what? I was inspired. We're gonna do extreme tech declutter. And James is gonna be my love ass. It's short for lovely assistant. Storyblocks Video Blocks offers you studio quality stock video clips for a fraction of the cost. Check it out today at the link in the video description. So when you say declutter, you mean? I mean everything that we are never actually gonna make a video about needs to come off these damn shelves. Thermal take pumps, Jake. This looks more like a monitor bracket to me. Wow, this is old. This is from RGB water cooling. This is like, why is it on whose shelf? It's on James's shelf. I didn't put it there. So here's the plan then. We're just gonna take this James bin and we're gonna make it into a things James will have to deal with off camera bin. What is this? Oh, you're gonna love this. An Atari hat? Not just an Atari hat, a hat with speakers in it. Hey, that's creepy. <laughs> what, what's the point though? Is it a webcam? I think it's like a selfie camera. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, it's kinda. Yeah, no, it's like kinda Woo. hard to. Woo! What is the rhythm? This is the exact same oh. situation. I was like, no thanks, not at this time. And they were like, ah, let's try it. And so that is like a personal biometrics recording device. I don't even know what it measures. I tried to look it up, it's all. It doesn't have a bot. It's all acronyms. No, this is an engineering sample. Oh, did, we ended up with serial number one and we never did anything with it. Okay, uh, we should make an eBay pile. A legal keypad for lawyers on the move. Meet the legal pad. You can press half the key down without actually activating the switch. Oh, I am not impressed. So this one's mush city too, but you can see it's a normal QWERTY, but on the numpad side, it has all these weird little legalese symbols so that you can more easily write contracts and stuff. It's a lawyer keyboard. It's a lawyer keyboard yeah, for lawyers who don't feel like being able to hit their enter key with their pinky. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's American legalese with an a ISO. European, European. freaking layout, brilliant. Oh my God, is this a wireless music light bulb? You know what we should do? We should get the audience through their upvotes in the comments to pick four items for the next Handy Tech Under 100. So this will be a candidate. What are these? Is this an entire pile of keyboards? Yes. And it's a split keyboard. Oh. So there's like a telephone wire, wire kind of cable that connects them. Yeah. And they connect with these magnets. Those are the contact points. And then these are steel rails, so it's a pretty sturdy connection. Yeah, once it's on there, that's not bad. And were we just, were we gonna review it and then just didn't get around to it? Exactly. It's a nice keyboard. It's got, there's different switch types you can order. Most of them are kales, but you can get cherry, I think greens and whites or something clear. Oh, interesting. The, uh, yeah, that's one of the coolest things is when it's split apart, you can get these other modules that you plug onto here that give you, that give you like thumb controls. Touch pad, track point, track ball. So those are all for the right side. Yeah. And then on this side, you can get one that's like a, just a cluster of keys. Maybe someday we'll do a review. $225. <gasps> And the modules are 60 bucks. Did they just send us all the tilting stuff but none of the modules? Those modules are so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Ultimate Hacking Keyboard, if you're watching and you want to send us even more expensive stuff that, that we, we might never, never do anything with, <laughs> then that's on my wish list. What is the Keezy and how old is this? I think it's supposed to just look old. It's, these things are awesome actually. So if you have a fob for your apartment, yeah. you can program it onto here and it can learn up to four different 
low frequency RFIDs, like the 125 hertz thing. So let's say you're an Airbnb slumlord and you have five or four different apartments, you can put them all on one fob. How much is this? For like 40 bucks, 44, 45 bucks. Okay, so we can throw this in the handy tech under 100 candidates. The Keezy. Oh God. Yeah, that's eBay. The system is broken. No, because this is to be dealt with. This Wait, We're not was, eBaying this what bracket. What was this bin gonna be? Oh, that was probably gonna be the handy tech bin. Okay, so this is the bin to reconcile later. Boom! Oh, you failed. You're supposed to write that and then look up at the camera so the editor could put sunglasses on you. Okay, we'll reenact it. Deal with it. Uh, so this is a webcam cover for privacy. It's a privacy cover. It slides, and they were nice enough to make Linus Tech Tips branded ones. So here's a shout out, Stiegel. So your shelf was actually pretty clean. That was the easiest one. Yeah, I'm not dealing with this guy's stuff. Oh, you are. This? Anything? No. He gets his own bin. No. They get their own reconciled. You volunteered to help. Oh my god. That is for a build that we've been planning to do for over a year. But, uh, well. It has a Ryzen 5 1600X in it. The yeah. build literally got outdated in the time that we were thinking about actually doing it. Yeah, like I said, over a year. Pretty sure it was Halloween last year that we uh, first started looking at this. Eight mags of EDO RAM. Good thing that's on the shelf taking up valuable shelf real estate. Okay, I actually know the story behind this. So, this is a motherboard for the, um, the bare bones super micro server that we used for 10 gamers or eight gamers, depending how you count it, one CPU. Oh my God, so half of your shelf is stuff from Brian's basement. We need to do a Tech Hoarders episode on Brian's basement. Remember the guy from the like uh, uh, electric car charger video? Say hello. Is this an actual Commodore 64? Yes. Does this work? As far as I know. Actually, this would be a cool sleeper. Is that an Apple II? Uh, 512K, as far as I know. You get one shelf for DOS gaming PC. Okay. Anything that doesn't fit on the one shelf goes back to Brian or Free Geek or whatever. So you heard it here first, guys. We're doing a DOS gaming PC. It was supposed to be a surprise. Well, it's not anymore. What is this? Oh, that's the cheapest monitor. Oh! This is the cheapest monitor on Amazon, right? Yeah. Oh my God, we should do this video. Like now? Yeah. Alex, oh, yeah. shall we have a look at your shelf? Oh, let's. Why don't we start with this? So that's the Singularity Spectre I know what game. it is. <laughs> I'm just, for the viewers that might not know, be, be careful with that. It's, it's one of a kind. <laughs> no, I think he's made quite a few at this point. Well, yeah, but this is the first prototype. So is this the way we should be treating it then? Oh my God, you're getting a call. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hello, this is James's answering service. Uh, sorry, I'm driving. Uh, uh, sorry about that. I gotta go. Oh, Hard to drive. Oh. Bye. Bye. <laughs> there are still SSDs in here. Yep. What the hell? Are these the 850 Pro 1 terabytes? These are labeled. That's what these are, isn't it? Probably. These are labeled missing in the system. Oh. What huh. the hell, it's man? These are, this has been here for like six months. You're always so negative. This is, a, we just <laughs> found two missing yeah. SSDs. Do you know how much these were worth when it was lost? Do you know how much they're worth now? About the same? No. <laughs> Alex, this is where all the Noctua Industrial PPC oh. fans are. <laughs> Alex. All right, what's this? 
Is this just the box for this blade? Thumbs up, retweet if you want these. What is this? Um, that's from the Rave PC, but it still is a fully functional laser light show. I think it's e waste. Do you think so? I do. We needed a laser light show the other day. Did we use this? No. Because, yeah, we couldn't find it. Reservoir and pump. Yeah, that's going to be super your problem to figure out where the packaging is for it. Here we go. <laughs> Nailed it. All right, smart guy. Then where's the package for this one? Yeah? More harder question. Yeah, you think? Also, remember how I was running around the office looking for one of those Molex to oh, yeah. AC power adapters that are $40 each that we ordered more of to replace them today? Well, here's one. <laughs> Gilson, there's a bin over there. This whole thing is it? Yeah, that whole thing is one adapter. I'm gonna cable tie it. Thank you. Go through stuff. Oh my God, this is like almost as bad as Anthony's. This, this is the ITX form factor PC from like a decade ago, which you can, were considering popping into your system after it or I it. was? Yes, you no, said it's I not wasn't. stupid. Yes, you said it's not completely stupid, okay? Win <laughs> Windows XP. Okay, me saying something is not completely stupid is not the same as me considering putting it in my car. So basically, it's a computer that goes in your dash. Into a mini DIN, yeah. Gently. Man, what even? Th this is gift wrapped lighting because the stock cathode tube was like too bright. So I made it custom like this. Yeah, dog. Is that Mushkin Red Lines, maybe? Hell yeah, dog. Okay, so this board needs to go back to whichever kind viewer sent it to us then. Yeah. Gentle, this is my prized graphics card collection. Why is it here? Because I never took it home after it was displayed at LTX. That was six months ago. I know, I am well aware. It's a graphics card with ethernet jacks all over the back of it. What? Yeah, we'll explain that later. Why do you still have all these old ass gaming machines, and why are they all here? All of them are here. Answer is 42. Do you have any gaming PCs at home left? Yes. They're not as old, but quite as obsolete. Show me the hand strength. Uh, it, oh, it, it a bit. flexed a little, it actually. A bit. Weird flex, but okay. Flex, but okay. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it still has the peel on it. Oh, no, no, I can't. This is Not like, yet. this is vintage in here, man. I can't peel that. They're all on. Oh, this, this was the board to have when I was getting into being a PC nerd. So uh, this is the old WD Velociraptor. This was the pinnacle of hard drive performance back in those days. Back when hard drive performance was not an oxymoron. Oh my oh, God, wow. 2006 Pipe Dream Products thing? You know what? I'm gonna do it. Pipe dream. Do it. What, what'd you say? You ever seen one that big before? <laughs> Only in my dreams. All right. All of it. Uh, All of it. Balls nice. don't go in the mouth. <laughs> God. Oh, it doesn't taste very good. No. Jake's is actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. My expectation for him was very low. It's because he takes his junk and puts it on other people's shelves, like that parts tray from the beginning. Ready to look through my shit? Huh? Huh? You gotta wait for the camera huh? to actually be rolling. No. <laughs> <laughs> over there, you weirdo. It's like he's actually this annoying all the time. <laughs> this is copper tubing. Why does it say RGB build? Yeah. It says it says copper tubing build there. You actually did a good job of putting away the cooler for your card, sort of mostly. What? That's an excellent job. I, I blame uh, James. You blame James. Yeah. James, for helping you your, out. He James, was, what is your rebuttal? He was too lazy to put it up in 101, so he dumped it in my hands, and then I put it on my shelf in the meantime. <laughs> you didn't even tell me what this was for. I literally get. No, I asked you, and then I was like, "Oh wait, I don't need it." And then you're like, "Oh well, too bad, you got it." And then you walked away. You give me a that's hangout, exactly being like, what you still happened. have. That's what happened. You still have that wall mount thing. Here See, look, pal. Hey, here's the no oh, the proper one. That only arrived today. Yeah, well. And where's the bin? <laughs> Well, you know what? I'll do I, a favor. I'll put this back on the shelf for you. Yeah, I know do me goes. a favor. Yeah, what a Bin guy. It. do yourself a favor. Well, okay, that was I have dumb. made this worse. That was entirely your fault. Okay, so this is basically just a bin of garbage. Yeah, sure. Inside another bin of garbage. 
That's not garbage. That's an LTT edition fan. <laughs> Which brings us finally to the cleanest and most organized of all the shelves. All right, Linus, how do you explain this? <laughs> Someone's screwing me over here. No, ow, no. ow, why'd you step on my- Oh, what are you wearing, socks and sandals at work? So basically, this is completely like working. Is it still dripping? <laughs> and like ready to go, it's been upgraded to a GTX 1070 that hasn't actually been submerged yet because uh, the other one like sparked in the middle of a video that we're making about it. Um, the motherboard's been replaced as well, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's the original power supply. So the issue we had was that the case for it. That's you can drop it right on my toes. I'm wearing real shoes. Oh yeah, those those are gonna protect your toes so much. No, no, the audience believes me. It is leaking. Oh God, there's Where's been oil the all from? over the floor. Oh crap. Okay, that's a real mess. Oh no, it's still leaking now. Oh God, okay. In the bag. Oh, okay, yeah, that's why that bag was there. Thank you. Um, Don't get your socks wet. Okay, so here, I'm gonna put this. Oh yeah, it's here oh, then. Yeah, yeah that's, okay. Uh, oh. Uh, okay, so the problem was that the outer acrylic aquarium for it was leaking. Um, we actually solved that problem. So here's the original castle and everything that was inside it. This paint held up surprisingly well to the mirror oil, by the way. Um, and this is actually a new aquarium that Puget Systems gave us out of their reception room because their mineral oil PC finally died and so they they dropped this off for us i think is this the one they dropped off for us jake that's the one they yeah they brought to my house yeah, yeah so this one is new so it's just a matter of like putting it back together and i've had it on my shelf because i thought maybe it's a video but like it seems like a short video literally just we could do a live taking stream. that putting it in there yeah we could stream it yeah we could just and like maybe upgrade it again let us know in the comments you want to see mineral oil resurrected live stream That'd be pretty Whoa. sweet. Dang. Okay. Yeah, so in that case, yes, this is an active project. He'll say anything to keep this stuff on his shelf. Well, I just, <laughs> I don't want to get rid of it. It's got a lot of sentimental value to me. So when yeah. did that video and go that, what, When did that video I, I go? I think we have a new record here. <laughs> before oh, any of you worked here. Not... If you guys worked here before, you'd probably have that older stuff too. All right, he so that's the there. benefit of if you like something a lot, he says, Oh, well, just, yeah, we're, it's technically an ongoing project because we're going to make a video out of it. Yeah. No. Everyone else who works under you that just is has to take their stuff and pack it up. Literally the definition of, a, of an ongoing project. We're going to make a video about it. Yeah, we're gonna, you decide who makes the video. We're going to live stream it on Friday. Prototype. One of a kind. <laughs> uh, this is a prototype of an AIO cooler. Oh, God. Landed in the mineral oil. <laughs> okay, so this is a prototype of a of an AIO cooler that doesn't require a pump. Oh yes, I remember this. Yeah. So I was thinking, do, do you want to see a video about it? It doesn't really like work properly. It's just a prototype. It's like a proof of concept. It doesn't perform well. But do you guys want to see a video? Like it does work. Rick. No. Rick. Fine. Go ahead. You try. Also, this this bell. <laughs> you can't team up on me like that. That's it, I'm done. Oh yeah? What about all this stuff in here? I was just joking. It's not, that's an exit. With Storyblocks, you can get studio quality stock video clips for a fraction of the cost, and you can download all the stock video that your heart desires from their members' library, including HD and 4K footage, After Effects templates, motion backgrounds, and more. Plus, you get exclusive discounts on millions of additional marketplace clips where you will save 40% on every purchase compared to non-members. And this is pretty cool. The original artists take home a commission of the sale price. All of their content is royalty free, so you can use it for commercial and personal projects such as YouTube videos or YouTube videos depending on whether you do those personally or commercially. And new clips are added regularly, so there's always something fresh to download. Go check them out at the link in the video description. 
So thanks for watching guys. If you disliked this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured. <laughs> well, some of it's gonna end up on eBay, so. In the video description, also down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one and our community forum, which you should totally join. My apologies to the editor for this one, though. This is a completely unstructured mess. Did this Watch get mineral oil all over totally it? totally murked. Oh. His headphones got totally wrecked. I'll give them to Ivan. He loves free headphones. It's a gift. It's a gift and a burden. That's the best kind of gift. How do you clean up mineral oil? You basically can't. I've been, I've been, like solvent or I've just been dabbing it. Isopropyl alcohol kind of works, but not really. Well, why would dancing help clean it? Get it? I, yeah. Cause yeah. Dabbing, dancing? Uh, sort of. Uh.